Exciting news is finally coming from Sony, and after verifying with multiple trusted sources, I can confidently say that we are looking at some major announcements in the near future. There will likely be two separate events, one focused on a lens and the other on a camera. Based on the information I've gathered, it is highly probable, if not certain, that the next major camera release will be the Sony a7 V. Unlike some rumors circulating about other brands, this is not speculation. These are sources I have relied on in the past, and their insights have been accurate time and again. The buzz is building, and today I want to give you an early look at why the Sony a7 V has taken longer than expected to arrive, what you might anticipate from it, and why the gap between it and its predecessor may be more significant than recent incremental updates in Sony's lineup. Before diving into the details, it's worth noting that this year has been relatively underwhelming in terms of Sony camera releases, at least when compared to their lenses. While lens announcements have been impressive, like the 51mm f 2.0Z series lens, which is an absolute marvel, camera releases such as the FX2 and RX1R3 have largely repackaged the existing technology rather than introducing meaningful innovation. The FX2, for instance, was disappointing mainly because it used the same sensor as the A74, with all its associated limitations, including crop factors and low-light performance issues. The RX1R3, while still a compelling full-frame compact option, also relied heavily on existing tech, including small, low-resolution EVFs. Both cameras are relatively expensive given their hardware, though they still hold value in specific niches. The FX2 benefits from an integrated EVF, while the RX1R3 remains unique in the full-frame compact segment, positioned as a slightly more affordable alternative to Leica's offerings. Regarding the Sony a7 V, I can confirm that its announcement is imminent, likely falling within the October-November timeframe. Prior to this, there will probably be a separate lens announcement. While the exact lens is not confirmed, it may be the rumored 100mm f 2.8 gym macro, which has been circulating for about a month. Trusted sources suggest that official confirmation of the lens announcement could come within days, and as soon as I receive verified information, I will share details including the exact date and specifications. Following this lens announcement, the Sony a7 V will make its debut, marking a significant step forward in Sony's full-frame mirrorless lineup. A question many enthusiasts have is, why has the Sony a7 V taken so long to launch? From what I've learned, there are two main reasons for the delay. The first stems from pricing and market strategy uncertainties. With Sony recently introducing the new Terry system, there has been some hesitation around pricing adjustments. In fact, one source indicated that Sony US plans to increase prices across the board for both cameras and lenses by 5 to 10% starting September 22nd. This includes both existing products and upcoming releases, such as the Sony a7 V and the lens that will precede it. If these reports are accurate, anyone planning to purchase new gear may want to act before this date to avoid paying higher prices. While there is no absolute guarantee, pre-ordering could be a prudent move for those eager to secure the latest gear. The second, and perhaps more critical reason for the delay, is a production bottleneck. Sony has faced challenges keeping up with demand, particularly for cameras that are expected to be highly popular. Models like the A12 and others experience frequent stock shortages, and given the anticipated success of the Sony A7 V, Sony has had to ensure that production capacity can meet high demand before officially launching the camera. Reliable sources confirm that the company wanted to avoid supply issues that could tarnish the launch, ensuring that early adopters and professionals can obtain the camera without extended delays. While I do not yet have the full specifications to share publicly, one thing I can confidently confirm is that the Sony a7 V will not use the same sensor as the a74. This alone represents a major improvement, as the a74 sensor has been a limiting factor in several previous models. Multiple trusted sources indicate that the Sony a7 V will feature a completely new sensor, optimized for full-frame performance, improved low-light capabilities, and better overall image quality. This alone could make the camera a substantial upgrade over its predecessor, offering performance gains that outpace minor incremental updates like those seen between the A1 and A12. 
From what I've gathered, the Sony A7 V is expected to be evolutionary rather than revolutionary. In other words, while it may not introduce entirely unprecedented features, every aspect of the camera will see meaningful improvements. Expect better processing, enhanced autofocus, more capable video recording options, and improvements in ergonomics and usability. This approach mirrors what Sony did with the A12 over the A1, taking existing strengths and refining them for a more polished experience. But in the case of the Sony A7 V, the gap between it and the A74 is expected to be much larger. With a new sensor and careful refinement of other technologies, the Sony A7 V could become a highly compelling choice for enthusiasts and professionals alike. Regarding lenses, the timing of the first announcement will likely precede the camera release. While details are still being verified, the lens could be a macro option designed for both high-resolution photography and video. It's clear that Sony is carefully coordinating these announcements, likely to maximize impact and give photographers a compelling ecosystem of tools to complement the Sony a7 V. For enthusiasts following the brand closely, this combination of camera and lens announcements represents a rare moment of anticipation and excitement, particularly after a year that many considered underwhelming in terms of pure camera innovation. In terms of timeline, we can expect the lens announcement first, followed by the Sony A7 V camera release sometime between October and November. While exact dates are not yet publicly shared, trusted sources suggest that official announcements are imminent, and within the next few weeks, more concrete information, including specifications, pricing and availability will be revealed. For those tracking Sony releases closely, subscribing to updates and pre-ordering gear before potential price increases is advisable, particularly if the September 22nd price adjustment in the US proves accurate. To summarize, the Sony A7 V is coming, likely in October or November, with a lens announcement preceding it. Production delays and market strategy considerations have pushed back its release, but these factors also suggest careful planning to ensure high quality output and availability. The camera will not reuse the A74 sensor, offering instead a more capable and optimized sensor, which alone represents a significant improvement. While it may not introduce completely new revolutionary features, the Sony A7 V promises meaningful advancements, making it a highly anticipated release for anyone following Sony's full-frame mirrorless lineup. Stay tuned, because as soon as verified specs and official announcements are confirmed, more details will follow. For photographers, this is shaping up to be one of the most exciting Sony releases in recent years.